Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Happy Doc. This episode is sponsored by All Global Circle. Medical laboratories are always on the lookout for healthcare professionals who are willing to give their opinion on the latest medical breakthroughs. This helps scientists to improve treatments that can change millions of lives. All Global Circle offers healthcare professionals the opportunity to shape the medical industry by participating in surveys that are relevant to their specialty. If you are a healthcare professional, go on and join allglobalcircle.com to receive up to $50 of sign-on bonuses. On top of this, you'll get paid for participating in studies and giving your expert opinion. So sign up today, impact millions of lives, and check out allglobalcircle.com. That's allglobalcircle.com. All right, guys, for this episode, I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit of a story I listened to. I was listening to David Goggins, and uh, he is a Navy SEAL. Uh, He's gone through a ridiculous amount of training. He is world famous for his absolute level of grit. He runs ultra marathons now. Those are 100 plus mile marathons. And he is just an amazing human being that is really pushing the boundaries of uh, what we believe the mind can really do. And obviously, I'm fascinated by the mind because the mind is either able to propel us forward and we can use it as a tool to help us move forward in life, create success, create opportunities for people, or it is something that can absolutely hold us back. And in the story that I was listening to him, uh, with him, he talked about how there was, uh, there's training in Navy SEALs called BUDS, and there's also something called Hell Hell Week, which is a ridiculous training regimen to essentially weed out the mentally strong and those who are perseverant versus those who uh, essentially, uh, you can't, can't tough it out, you know, can't tough out training and I uh, can't get through it. And what they started to do was a, a pre-BUDS weekly training where essentially um, individuals who are interested in going to Navy SEALs and wanted to train beforehand would have a couple months to get their, uh, you know, to get their physical body in shape. They'd be stronger. Uh, they'd become faster. They'd do all the different exercises and calisthenics and uh, they would get trained. And what they found is even when they did the pre-BUDS training, uh, when uh, David was working with them, the same amount of people still failed uh, when they went into the true training uh, that would determine if these individuals would become Navy SEALs, right? So when they actually went into BUDS and went through Hell Week and all that stuff, the percentage was the same even of those who passed and those who failed was the same, even though they did the two months of training beforehand. And so he made this really funny quote and he said, uh, we're, we're basically, I'm paraphrasing, we're basically made, we basically made faster, smarter, and stronger quitters. And uh, this is what I really want to highlight in this episode is uh, we, we don't just need to train our bodies and we don't need to just train our minds in terms of, uh, being in, more intelligent or sharp. We also need to be able to train our grit, our perseverance, taking things to the next step when we want to quit. Uh, there is something to be said about thinking we can't go on and thinking we can't push forward and then just taking a few more steps. Something I've uh, actually started to establish in my jogging practice, I'm not a good runner, but I would say jog, is when I set a goal to hit a certain landmark, I do one additional lap. I do one additional block. I do one more uh, event or motion or action beyond what I think I can do. And the reason I'm doing that is because our minds will set a hard stop. We will create the idea we are incapable of doing something a little bit more because it just feels uncomfortable. We feel the tension in our bodies. We start to get a little bit 
of that lazy mindset. We start to feel like we, what, what is it, what's in it for me to go a little bit more? We let the mind, uh, we met, we let the mind off. We, we make it easy for ourselves, but we have to train the mind to be able to deal with adversity, to be able to take an additional step forward, to push forward. Even though the mind is saying no, we say yes. And why, why is this important? It's important because the mind is a tool, but it is not the decider of your destiny. The mind is telling you thoughts you might, uh, you know, hear positive thoughts, negative thoughts, but it is not the decider of your destiny. It is just something that is there uh, and is available to us. If we look at our thoughts as the truth, if we say that when our heads tell us to stop and to do something and we just stop, we have left so much on the table. We've left so much more that we could accomplish in a day uh, towards our goals, towards what we want to do in life. And ultimately, if we are going to become stronger people, not just uh, physically stronger, mentally stronger, those types of things, but to be the type of person that you can really be proud of, the person that is achieving at a level that is uh, really closer to your potential. It requires the ability to actually go beyond what our mind says. It, it requires us to, to not allow these stops in our mind or these belief systems that we think are true in our mind. Uh, it, it requires us not to let that control us. We have to go one step beyond. And when we, when we go one step beyond, we go two, step be, two steps beyond. And, and so on and so forth. So when you look at that mountain, whatever that mountainous goal, dream, idea is, you're able to climb it. You're able to actually do it because you've climbed walls in the past. You've seen a wall that was not possible and you climbed it. You saw a, a hard stop in your mind and you said, maybe I can do this. You saw the Goliath you know, in front of you, the beast. And you said, you know what? I'm going to get past this beast. We have to be able to overcome these invisible monsters inside of our heads. And we have to take that step beyond. So don't just become physically stronger. Don't just become more intelligent. Don't just work hard to increase your stats. You know, be able to increase the grit muscle that is going to let you overcome even in even when you're not feeling as good and when you do that that is that is a new level of of confidence and courage and ability that you can unlock and when you get there it is absolutely fulfilling to say you know what i did something i didn't think was possible that's one of the best feelings in the world so i encourage each and every one of you to take that next step Take that step you think you couldn't do, but somehow you've done it, and that's going to be how you beat the thoughts in your mind and, and maybe show some evidence that there's something beyond just what your, your head thinks. I hope that was a helpful episode, and I will see you on the next episode of The Happy Doc. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a five-star review on iTunes. It's one of the best ways to support us, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.